Well, when it comes to conference play, the SAC doesn't mess around. Boys' season opening on Monday, Concordia and Wayne playing their first conference game tonight. Yeah, Aaron Rare leading Wayne this year. Taking over for John Lights. Pick this one up in the third quarter. Wayne down 19 at the half. Wayne's L. Stanley Willis. What you talking about, Willis? Nice little turnaround. Gotta like the throw, too. Casey Edding coming back with the bucket for Concordia. Cadets by 21, but Wayne's got Xavier Brown, and he can shoot the basketball, knocks down the triple. Concordia, though, cranks it up on D. Six foot five, Zach Schran. He's gonna have himself a big season, trust me on that. Layup off the steal, then it's Nolan Harris. Nothing but net right there as Concordia goes on to win this one by 15. Your final 55 to 40. On the girls' basketball court, it's all about cross-conference rivalries. That was the case out of Carroll as the NHC's Chargers taking on Dwanger out of the SAC. Cassie Kreider's club hosting the Saints. There's Lindsey Schaefer committed to grace this week. Early on, Tara Plummer gets the putback for two after the miss. Chargers would jump out to a quick lead. Here's Dwanger's Maria Petri. A long two finds the bottom of the net, so Dwanger would hang around a little bit. And then here's Carol's plumber again. She's going to be on the line, but it's good for two nonetheless. And then Emily Martin going to show it. Also had a two on the line. That was a long two. Carol gets the win, 51-43 the final. Let's go out to Homestead. Spartans looking to go 3-0 and on the young season as they were facing their rival Huntington North. Doesn't matter what they're playing in. They don't like each other. Huntington North's Kelsey Holloway knocks down the three, but then it's Homestead's Jenna Hammer. Now, this is apropos because she kind of goes coast to coast, and she is going to... Coastal Carolina. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, there you go. Chanticleers or Chanticleers? Chanticleers. Chanticleers. It's like tomato, tomato. Then on Hamrick again. That's why they want her playing D1 basketball. How about Huntington North's Allison Hen from the corner? We had ourselves a nail biter, but it's Homestead winning this one 40 to 39. They are still undefeated. Northrop looking for its fourth win of the season. Bruins facing DeKalb. Northrop's Paige Wright going to take it from long distance for three. She'd finish the night with nine points. This was all Northrop. Quayla Jackson on the fast break. Watch this. Uncontested. Off glass. It's good. She had 11. Aaliyah Swery, way downtown. Had time to set the shot. Hits the three. She finished with a team high 19. Tashara Thomas. Watch this fake coming up. Faked me out. Look out. All the way to the hoop. Everybody oob not. She had 12 points. Northrop big. 64-37 the final. Garrett coming in ranked ninth in 2A. Railroaders out at Woodland. Brandy Dawson. For three, that would be a sweet spot for her. More on that in just a second. Here's Lydia Yoda from Woodland. She's going to get over to Katie Noblet for two points. Dawson, again, I mentioned that sweet spot, steps in another foot, bangs it down. Then Garrett's, or Garrett's Megan Geltz. She's going to fire from three. Very uh, hot shooting from the left side. Heather Horse, she's going to get the layup. Not buddy, uh, no one really playing defense there. Heather House again, she's going to steal it at midcourt. All the way in, uncontested again. And when you have a lot of uncontested shots, well, you tend to win big. 75-46, Railroaders with the victory. You called her Heather Horse because she is the thoroughbred of that team. Right. But she houses the opponent, so it's oh, Heather House. That's house. how you That's how you get it. I can't read my own writing. It's you know okay. It it's okay. He's a young buck. Young buck. At all least right. I didn't say turkey because it is the holidays. That's true. All right. You, you waited all season long, and tonight it has finally arrived. That's right. One lucky winner will win a motorized scooter, this one right here. Thanks to Parkview Trauma. It is quite a hog, isn't it? Uh, 14 weekly winners were put in the pokey. We stirred the pot all leading up to this drawing. And the grand prize winner is Jeremy and No Dine or No Dean. Jeremy is from Fort Wayne. If you remember, he won back in week eight. That's the week that he was the weekly winner, got the little prize package, and now also gets the grand prize, this amazing scooter. Congratulations to Jeremy, everyone who registered, and our sponsor, Parkview Trauma. We got more highlights on. Coming up after this.